Hello guys and welcome back to my big curly hair routine. This has been the most requested video for the past like month or so. I've been doing this hair in numerous Instagram, so like this one, this one, this one especially. It's basically been the same process and same routine every single time. So, so many of you, especially on one of my latest videos, I think 95% of the comments were pretty much, please can you do a hair routine? We wanna know what you're doing to your hair. So thank you so much for being so complimentary. And especially with this whole new center parting thing I've got going on. Uh, this is all down to you guys being so super nice on recent videos. So thank you all so much. I'm really trying this out and I'm really, really enjoying it. So it's about time that I put this video together for you. I'm gonna let you in on a secret as well with this video. I filmed this whole thing and realised that my camera had switched the settings on the audio and it didn't have any audio. If you're wondering why I'm talking in the cutaways, that is why. So let's get into the hair, starting right from the very beginning. I've literally just washed my hair with the new L'Oreal Elviv Fibrology Air Range. This is brand new to L'Oreal Paris. This is a volumising, thickening sort of range. So if you've got quite thin hair, quite fine hair, you'll find this really quite thickening, and especially volumising. It gives really great root lift. It really makes your hair feel so much thicker. For me, I have somewhere in between thin and thick hair. It's kind of in between somewhere so this works really really well for me it definitely makes my hair feel thicker without weighing it down it feels really really lightweight it also smells gorgeous so i really love it for that also l'oreal paris says this is anti-flat for up to 48 hours and the really cool thing about this product is that the conditioner is the very first l'oreal paris crystal clear conditioner so this blew my mind it's almost like a clear gel rather than a thick creamy opaque conditioner as you'd usually get so I've never seen anything like this this is the first time that L'Oreal Paris has done this which is pretty cool okay so after washing I move into adding some more kind of volumizing products just because that's what I like to use so first thing I used was the L'Oreal LV Extraordinary Oil this I just pump about four pumps of this into my hand and work it into the very ends of my hair I find if I sort of do that my hair just laps it up it just coats all of the ends Overall, after drying my hair, just feels so much lighter and softer and smoother. So this massively helps the condition of my hair. I literally can't wash my hair and dry my hair without using oils on the end. It's a must for me. Even more volume, I mean I do like the volume, L'Oreal Elnet Creme de Mousse, which is part of their new range they've also just brought out. This is just the one I really like, it's volume and strong holds, it gives me extreme volume and it also kind of holds that volume for quite a few days, so I really really like this. So I just pump about a tennis ball size amount into my hands, I usually flip my hair over and I'll kind of roughly, roughly all through the roots. Into a bit of the lengths as well, but mostly into the roots because that's where you want to get that ultimate root lift. Then I just flip over my hair upside down and just really roughly dry it with a really fast powered high heat hair dryer. I don't use a brush because I find it just kind of flattens my hair so I like to just really roughly dry it through with my hands kind of really ruffle it up plus with drying it upside down you'll get ultimate volume and it'll really help all of those sort of root lifting products to really get to work. When I've dried my hair I've got great root lift, my hair is quite textured, it's still lightweight and still feels quite thick so I really love the texture of this especially from using the Fibrology Air, I find they work really really well on my hair. So ever since I've had my hair in the centre parting and I've got a bit more kind of textured tools of the look going on. I've been a little bit obsessed with dry shampoos. So this is the one from the Fibrology Air range, the Root Lifting Dry Shampoo, which smells gorgeous. It works really, really well actually. It doesn't make your hair feel clumpy, it's really lightweight. So I've been using dry shampoos just to add a little bit more grit into the parting, give almost a bit of a texture spray kind of feel to my hair. And especially if it's like second day hair, it also then helps with making your hair look less greasy or, you know, it just makes it much more manageable. So I've generally just been spraying this straight into the middle of my parting, down the centre. Been using it underneath my hair, into each side. And it just gives you that much more textured, 
and volumized feel. So yeah, this is a massive part of my routine now. Like a year or so ago, I would never have used dry shampoos, but I don't know, since having it in this style, it's kind of been my go-to. And just before curling as well, I'll also use a Heat It Hot and Curl heat spray as well. I spray that all the way through my hair just to make sure I've got some heat protection, and this helps with kind of holding the curls as well, so big winner. So moving into curling and my favourite kind of thing, my favourite appliance for this would be a large barrel. Some people like to use straighteners, I just really like the larger barrel. This is like a 1.5 inch barrel and all I literally do to get this style, it's going to be the easiest hair tutorial I've ever seen this, but I literally take it straight down the centre and part it into two sides. Then I'll just take one side, spin it round and tie it into a little bun just to get it out of the way. I start right at the back, take a nice smallish, not too small but not too thick, just whatever you feel is a good amount to put onto the wand. So I'm working on the right hand side with my right hand and the wand is in the opposite hand. So the wand goes behind the hair and literally I just wrap it around, I use my hands to make sure that the hair stays straight on the actual barrel, but I'll just wrap it all the way around, twist the barrel further into the hair and I'll hold it there for maybe 10, 15 seconds. It depends how good your barrel is. If your barrel's really, really good and really hot, then you can probably release it a little earlier. And then I throw it back just behind my hair, just so it's out of the way so I can start on the next piece of hair. And I literally do that all the way around, taking section, then the next section, all the way until I get to the very front section of my hair. And when you're at the front and you've got a little bit of hair left there, again, I'll take the wand in my left hand, the hair in the right, I get the wand really, really close into the root of the hair, and I'll wrap the hair around once, move the barrel really close into the root, just to give that ultimate heat, and then I'll pull it away and just wrap it again, and then I'll let it go. And that just makes sure that that front piece of hair is twisted the right way around and also gives you a bit of root lift at the root as well. And just do the exact same routine, so moving from the back forwards just in almost in stripes along your head. Again when I get to the very front piece and take the one behind as close to the root as possible just so you get loads of heat there and then let it go. So at this point when the hair is looking extremely pristine and a little scary, <laughs> literally just take your hands and rough it through your hair. Just use your hands as a hairbrush and just brush through all the pieces of your hair and it'll just break up all of the pieces into these much more softer, lovely waves. I'm just going to use the L'Oreal L-Net hairspray. This is the one with extra caring argonol because that's always nice, especially on bleached hair. And I like to almost hold the curls and scrunch them up just for a little bit more texture. Add a little bit of spray to the front, hold that in place. And that is it, big, big hair. So I really hope that helped guys. Hopefully you learned something about this new routine I've been doing. I know I've been sort of putting out pictures everywhere of this hair, but again, it was just down to all of your compliments. So thank you so much for kind of giving me the confidence to try something different. If you like the look of any of these products, they are available at Boots and Superdrug. I will leave the link just down below. I've also just written a full blog post on inthefro.com about all of the Fibrology air products. So if you want any more information or some more pictures, so just go along to there. Again, I'll leave the link below in the description bar. Also guys, I'm taking over the L'Oreal hair Snapchat account on the 28th of August. I'm be talking all things hair and answering all of your questions. So if you have any hair related questions, please do leave them in the comments below and I'll be going through the comments and answering those on the Snapchat. That is everything for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please do give it a like so I know that you at least like this after requesting it so highly. And if you're new here, please do subscribe. I make two videos a week, Wednesday and Sunday, and I would love to have you back again. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. I will see you soon. Bye. Mwah.